I'm going to model an air dryer for the wall for the half-life bathroom seat. I'm just going to do it in a new project and uh, we'll bring it in afterwards. All right, I'm going to rotate X 90 and scale this in the Z. And I'm going to give it some thickness. Well, too much, but let's just see what we come up with for this. I was thinking I'll put an edge loop here grab this edge and pull it back and we are going to start beveling this thing so control b and pull and i'll have maybe five segments in there a little bit of a curve control alt and click there nice curve here i'm uh, going to do the same here it's the big one it doesn't matter if the bevels are not all the same it gives a little bit of asymmetry to this thing like that and then I'm going to come all the way around here making sure I get everything same thing on the other side okay and then a big bevel here just watching things don't cross and I'm going to I think narrow this a little bit like that all right so that's the general shape i know it looks like a mailbox uh, i'm going to select this front face there just to get my 3d cursor there and bring in a cube i'm going to use this to cut away a section down here and we'll make a space in here okay now I'm going to bevel these edges here nice and round and then I'm going to shift H just to focus on the cube itself select just the ones going around like that and I'm going to bevel this so that when I do my my cut alt H to bring that back my boolean um, it, there'll be some roundness to this so I'm going to do something like that we'll give this a try let's see see if I like it all right in the modifiers choose boolean leave it on difference select there I'll go ahead and uh, delete that and that'll probably be okay okay let's let's put on the cavity shader just so it looks a little nicer in fact let's switch over to both and pull these up just and so the banding that you that you see in in here partially because I haven't smoothed and also uh, the cavity shader so we'll, we'll deal with that later so shift alt and click these edges just I don't want that so um, what I'm going to do is uh, press control as I as I come around here and get up to there and deselect uh, that so that I have that loop going all the way around control B give it a nice bevel so I have that now I'm going to select this back face and I'm going to bring in a plane and scale it I'll look from the top in wireframe and grab this edge and pull it under and I'll grab this one and pull it under so I have that alright scale it down a little bit and I'm going to pull this down a little bit past I might have it come out just a little bit this is like a nozzle an air nozzle um, let's delete those that could swivel so I'll go ahead and do this and maybe that'll you'll get what I'm talking about let me grab these and bevel these control B and I'll grab this and I'll just pull it up more and I'm gonna give this some thickness so let's E and Alt S and uh, I'm going to push to bring it in. I don't want anything crossing. I think, do I want a little lip or not? I'm not sure. Shift Alt and click E and Alt S and uh, push, I guess. Hmm. And we'll see. I'm just going to bevel this a little bit. bevel this and this and make sure 
Let's try just to smoothing things first of all, and I'll do something with that. And um, for this, did, oh, did I get some crossing? I wasn't careful enough, darn it. Okay, um, let's see, where am I? Oh, you're okay, it's you. And I'll put on weighted normal, and normal's auto, auto smooth on that. Let's pull that up. Okay, so we have this so far. Uh, the idea is that this thing would swivel, as I think I said. Um, I'll just do a little bit. And sometimes if you just put on a bevel, that'll correct some of it. And of course, the weighted normal and normal's auto smooth often will help. So that's how that that would would work. Uh, we'll do the the button in a moment, but I was also thinking up here I would um, let's just shift D and scale that down and see what this is like. I'm going to scale in the Y. What I need to do, let me do another boolean. I need to be careful of these edges here. Um, let's make sure I break that out and come just into that and shift control B and pull and I want to have five vertices there and I'm going to extrude down I'll make sure my polys are facing the right way and I'm going to turn that off and just push that in select my main body boolean drag it to the top leave it on difference select this and apply I can get rid of this and now you can rebuild this you know it's not too nice but I should hopefully be okay. I'm going to come around and grab all this stuff here to bevel. And I'm going to go ahead and bevel it. And that will often uh, correct some of the problems. And I think that's probably all right. And I'm just going to select something there. I'm going to bring my 3D cursor there. Yeah. And what I thought I would do is bring in a plane here. We'll scale it to fit. And let's look in wireframe. Yeah, it's not bad. And then what I was thinking I would do is just give me a moment here. I'm going to throw in a bunch of edge loops like that. And with them still selected, I will hit Control B and pull and roll back to zero. So I just have like bars like that. And then I'll just simply extrude up a little bit and put a bevel on that, even just one. And that'll give a little bit of texture uh, to it. And then, um, other than you know, texturing and putting some decals and stuff like that, what I did think I would do in Substance Painter is I put some indents, maybe the Half-Life decal or some other text. But what I need to do is bring in that knob or create that knob. So I'll make a circle here and we'll just go for maybe 18 vertices and scale, rotate X90. And yeah, make it maybe make it there. Okay, so I'm going to extrude out E and S come in, E little stock come out just a little bit, E and S. I'll make it bigger. I may have to scale this whole thing down a little bit bigger, actually, not too much bigger, maybe even similar. Just come out just a little bit. I have to make a face, select it all, recalculate outside if need be. Shift Alt and click these edges here and Control B. I just need three, I think. And Control B here. And Shade Smooth. And I would go in there. And on that, I could put on that weighted normal. And normal's all smooth. You know, we ha and I have my, my button. There is one other thing I was thinking I'd like to try. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate this and pull it over here. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to select this to bring my 3D cursor there. And then I'm going to hide that. And I'll bring in a cylinder and I'll leave it at 32 with the ends capped. Rotate X 90. And I'm going to use this to punch a hole. So let's, uh, let's do that. Difference. 
that guy. Apply. Get rid of that. I'm going to come in here and get rid of those faces. And then I'm going to select this edge all the way around it. And I'm going to extrude it out like this. And then I'm going to come back in and get rid of all of these faces here on the inside and see let me um, merge by distance in case there's anything there let's see okay before just before I do that uh, shift alt and click there and uh, what I'll do is I will bevel this back and I'll put a few Calculate outside. Okay. And then I thought, let's try to grab all of this going around and see if I can bevel here. Nice big smooth bevel as if it's coming off the surface. Now let's see if I turn off the cavity. All right, it, it, it blends a little better. It's not great. I mean, I could angle it a little bit. It might even look better. Uh, but let's just go with that. Alt H, bring that back and take this thing. Maybe scale it down a bit and push it in. I don't know. Is it is it is it worth doing that versus just having it laying right on there? I, I kind of like it, you know. So I think I'm going to go with that. And so that would be my air dryer that would go on the wall. You know, obviously before texturing, and maybe I'll angle this a bit more. The final thing actually would potentially be to um, take this, I'll switch to normal, pull it out, scale it down, and um, maybe extrude it back and get rid of that back face and break it out and at this point can I still I can still come in bring it to about there and then I would come in and uh, what do we got on this let's get get rid of that for now I'll come in and grab the, the corners you know just like a, pl a metal plate on there I don't know if I would keep this or or just maybe write write some text on there. Um, we'll see. Let's just go ahead and and bevel this. Uh, what do I need? There's three, four, five, and the top coming down like that. All right, and then uh, I will end up putting that back on with way to normal. Okay, so I've got a, a little plate. I could put bolts in there. But that's basically it. That is my air dryer. So I'll bring that into the scene and I'll show you that next time as we continue.